Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Jambul. In this video, we will see one important concept in programming languages that is assignment statements. So, what do we assignment statements? So, normally, we write A is equal to B plus C. So, this is the assignment statement. Or A is equal to 4 minus 5 into 6. So, whatever it is. So, whenever we are assigning some value to any variable so that is the assignment statement so in most of the programming languages we use this equal to symbol for assignment so see we use this equal sign for assignment we are using it as a assignment operator but in some programming languages like algol 60 ada programming language they use this symbol colon and equal to so they use this symbol as a assignment operator uh, in some programming languages just like fortran and ada assignment statement is a standalone statement what do you mean standalone statement so assignment statement cannot be part of another statement so when whenever there is an assignment so it is a single statement only it cannot be a part of another statement. So this is the thing in Fortran and Ada programming language. Now we'll see another part that is a conditional target. So what do we mean conditional target? So here you can see. So here we are assigning zero to this. Now here there are two targets. One is this dollar count one and another is dollar count two what value we are allocating here zero so zero is one only zero is same only so zero can be allocated to count one or it can be allocated to count two but how it is decided based on value of flag so if this is one or this is true so zero will be allocated to this and if this is false so zero will be allocated to this so this is called as conditional targets here there are multiple targets in this case there are multiple targets so zero can be allocated to count one or zero can be allocated to count two based on the value of this so same thing can be written in terms of if else here now we'll see compound assignment operator so what do my compound assignment operator so look at this so if you look, look at this a statement so one there is a special thing that is a that is the destination is also appearing on the right hand side so a that is the destination is also appearing in this side a is equal to a plus b so here a is equal to a plus b same thing can be written like this a plus is equal to b so this means this a is equal a is equal to a plus b so this thing is written like this and such kind of assignment statement or such kind of assignment operator is called as compound assignment operator so wherever there is a destination it is appearing on the right hand side as a first operand in the expression on the right hand side here you can see so this is called as compound assignment operator example is this so uh, such kind of compound assignment operator is provided by these languages algol 68 c based languages that means c c plus plus or objective c then Perl, javascript python and ruby programming language then we will see unary assignment operator so what do by unary assignment operator so wherever there is assignment along with unary operator so that is called as the unary assignment operator so example is this sum is equal to plus plus count so in this case count is first incremented and then it is allocated to sum so this is similar to this so count is incremented by 1 this is incremented by 1 
and then count is allocated or assigned to sum. So this is incremental first and then it is allocated or assigned to sum. So this is a prefix increment. Why in postfix increment here you can see sum is equal to count plus plus. So here value of count is assigned to sum and then value of count is incremented. So this is similar to this. So value of count is allocated or assigned to sum and then value of count is incremented. Value of count is assigned to sum and then it is incremented like this. So here count plus plus it is similar to this count is equal to count plus one that is we are incrementing the value of count by one so whenever there are two unary operators are applied to the same operand their association is right to left so see best example is this so here there are two unary operators is the increment operator and here is the unary minus that it will negate the value so in this case association is right to left that means this is done first and then second so it will evaluate this first and after that this unary minus will get applied to this here association is right to left then we will see assignment as an expression so that means when assignment statement is used as an expression in another statement. So for example, here you can see, this is the assignment statement and this assignment statement is used as an expression in this complete statement. So here this expression is evaluated first. So this is the assignment statement only. So value of uh, character will be taken that will be allocated to C or so this assignment statement which, which is we are, we are using as the expression is evaluated first and then value of CS is get compared to this. So here assignment statement is a part of another statement. Again here you can see. So this is this is also assignment statement. So this is evaluated first. So a D by B. So this value is calculated that is allocated to C. And after that, combinedly, this value of this is calculated and that is then allocated to this. So here, this assignment statement is used as an expression for this complete assignment statement. Now, we'll talk about multiple assignment. So what do we have multiple assignment? So see, this is provided by all programming language Ruby and Lua. They support multiple assignments. Multiple assignment means multiple target and multiple source. Here you can see this is the example from Perl programming language. So here these are the targets and these are the source. Here 20 is allocated to dollar first, 40 is allocated to dollar second. And 60 is allocated to dollar third. So this is called as multiple assignments. Here there are multiple targets and there are multiple source. So in this way, we have assignment statement. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.